Do you have a burning desire? What is it that you yearn for? Welcome to the suit of sticks from the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot Deck. I chose sticks to represent the suit because of the raw potential that actual sticks inherently have. Whereas with a wand, it's already a defined thing with a designation and a purpose, i.e. an implement in ceremonial magic. And likewise for a staff or a baton, which are martial weapons, a stick really has the potential to be a number of things. And for me, there's something truly magical about that. The raw potentiality just totally evokes what the suit of sticks is all about. Because a stick forces you to employ your ingenuity, industriousness, and creativity and make it what you want. <laughs> mythology, there is the story of Prometheus the Titan who defied the gods by stealing fire from them and giving it to humanity in the form of knowledge. This fire can also be likened to the awakening of the consciousness in human beings. There are two modern day theories pertaining to the origins of our consciousness being awakened, so to speak, that I've included in the suit of sticks from the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot as symbolic parallels. The first theory being that the discovery of fire and the subsequent skill of learning how to harness it for our own needs allowed primitive man a variety of luxuries such as the ability to see better at night and in the dark. It allowed us to better protect ourselves from animals and it provided us with warmth to survive in the cold. And due to these gifts bestowed on us by fire, it took us from being in a survival mind state and offered us a means to contemplate our existence when gathered around it. The second theory, interestingly, is that there has been some speculation within fields that study consciousness that the discovery of psychoactive fungi, specifically mushrooms, elevated the consciousness of primitive humans by allowing them to experience vivid dreams and visions, thus sparking our imagination. And there's some evidence that there are other species of animals that are actually engaging in this kind of behavior now. <laughs> so in terms of how that's been depicted in the cards, fire has naturally been included in the suit. But if you look carefully at some of the images, you'll also see where mushrooms have been included. The shape of mushrooms also have phallic qualities. So if you were curious about what the significance of that was, well, there you have it. Now that we've discussed the symbolism, let's go into what the deck means for you. Just like in the previous elements, the suit of sticks is an icon for something that already exists within yourself, while it could also be a physical tool that you use. A stick has the capacity to either be used to build or destroy if it's not managed carefully, and in contrast to that, Fire is also likened with the energy of renewal. For the individual, it is also a symbol of your potential for growth. It can branch out and provide fruit, and it can be taken and shaped into whatever you will. The suit demonstrates that there can be growth despite the current odds, and just like the prevailing spirit of nature, so too do human beings have the capability to use their will to harness their creative forces for worldly success or survival. Harkening back to the allegory of Prometheus, the flame symbolizes the divine spark, the impetus for the birth of new ideas. Some of the keywords of the suit are creative will, human enterprise, industriousness, imagination, and spontaneity. The suit corresponds to the element of fire, and the astrological signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It is also the suit of clubs in standard playing cards. One of the physical counterparts of this suit in the human body would be the metabolism, which is what is responsible for the conversion of food into energy. We all possess a spark of the divine. Thus, we are all creative beings with the potential to harness the power of our creative thought to manifest our truest desires. 
but not only our desires in terms of monetary gains, but also in terms of achieving the elevation of consciousness and the health and harmony that we aspire for. Learning how to express ourselves and bring vitality and form to our thoughts is indeed a mode of artistry. Art has been historically and continues to be considered as a language, although in modern Western society it's more sublime. But in fact, many languages began as pictographs before becoming stylized abbreviations. Some of the more well-known examples of this would be ancient Egyptian and Chinese languages. Art has the ability to communicate ideas and to document or immortalize contemporary or historical events across generations. Essentially, there is a symbolic component to art and to language, which has been with us from the early beginnings of our evolutionary journey. And these symbols are deeply embedded in our psyche, or collective consciousness. And these symbols are known as archetypes, such as those we encounter in the Tarot. In conclusion, I believe that it is extremely important that we all become aware of our own creativity and realize that we are in fact always creating or adopting concepts, but for the most part, we do it unconsciously. The idea is that we should be more deliberate and precise with the ideas that we choose to convey or to project to the world about ourselves. But more importantly, we should be keenly aware of the constructs that we wish to reinforce within our own minds, because that has an immediate and noticeable impact on our well-being and psychological states. And with that being said, I now ask you to deliberately click the symbol of the like and subscribe buttons, as well as hitting the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching this video on the suit of sticks. My name is Wayne Rodney, creator of the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot Deck. If you're interested in obtaining a copy for yourself, there's a link that I've included in the description of this video. So until next time, abundant blessings, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.